Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome students to the online NPTEL course uh, Visual Communication Design for Digital Media and uh, we have covered uh, uh, all the uh, lectures, uh, uh, this is the last lectures and before that uh, we were discussing about the visual communication design uh, methodologies in digital media. We dis uh, discussed the generic design methodology and we also discussed about the web design and animation and graphic design uh, methodologies. So here we will uh, in the last uh, lecture we will take some cases of uh, web design and uh, animation because graphic design is already uh, demonstration uh, demonstrated with the uh, different uh, design principles because graphic design is the first stage and uh, we have the only 2D um, uh, two dimensional image and uh, uh, image file. So it is the a uh, lot of examples has been already given with the uh, when we are, we are discussing the theories and also uh, when we are di uh, discussing the methodologies. So, uh, and it has the least uh, level of complexity, but in uh, t uh, terms of animation and uh, web design, there are other uh, layers of complexity. For animation, we have to, uh, there is a timeline, so each and every frames are moving on time. And for web design, also the information architecture and the use, um, usability of that comes um, uh, as an added. Uh, uh, element added factor in the uh, uh, discussion. So here in this uh, last uh, uh, module, which is in the, we will uh, just take some case studies, take some cases and discuss some uh, uh, web uh, websites and how they work and uh, also some animations. So in uh, web, uh, web design, so we have uh, two factors in the web design. One is the uh, aesthetics. We has uh, we were discussing about the aesthetics and how, um, what should be the style, and what kind of look and feel it uh, gives. So in that we also discussed in the previous uh, lectures. We discussed about the, uh, about the contemporary uh, visual styles and uh, what kind of typography uh, and what is the meaning and what kind of uh, visual um, uh, attributes it has. So those things will come as a aesthetic part of the communication. So and also you, uh, we have the usability part of the co uh, uh, visual communication. So visual is not just a poster, not just in graphics. It also has a usability uh, to attach with it. It has to communicate uh, with the u uh, user. So usability part and aesthetic part together uh, makes a website and uh, makes any design. Uh, uh, more uh, more comprehensible and more user friendly and more um, uh, it depends on the success uh, depends on the uh, usability and aesthetic both the aspect of the uh, design. So here in this uh, photograph you can see this is uh, taken from Steve Krug's uh, Don't uh, Make Me Think. So here in this um, image you can uh, see the uh, people how people perceive. And so it's talking about the usability part of it, and uh, in this uh, image you can see there a um, lot of um, uh, uh, divisions in the in terms of uh, visual uh, framing. So here in the sidebar there are some informations in the body uh, body of the uh, uh, website. There are some um, uh, image. So people perceive in a different uh, form. So what he is saying, what designers might perceive. Uh, a not so successful design might be. So uh, people start reading, uh, uh, designers might think that people uh, will read everything. But in terms of uh, the reality, what you uh, users only see is like they glance through the website and only the major attractive part will be visible. So that was also we were discussing this in Gutenberg's principle and all these um, theories uh, apply when we uh, read so that you have to apply and uh, you have to also think that uh, you have to also consider that people uh, the user will uh, only uh, have some few time to glance through the we website and they um, will uh, they have to interpret uh, the website the meaning of the website and what uh, website uh, the uh, website or the uh, content wants to convey within a very um, few time frame because um, 
most of the uh, 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 if uh, they are attracted towards the website and if they find out that the website will convey something meaningful to them then they will start devoting more time into the website and uh, start reading uh, the um, uh, next hierarchy of the um, uh, content. So, here the uh, principles of hierarchy in terms of uh, in uh, typography we are also design, uh, discussing about the hierarchy and how to achieve hierarchy through uh, typography as well as through the design. Uh, those uh, principles you have to apply. So, here also in this example you can see there are different hierarchy of the um, uh, text, uh, 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 text and as well as the images and hierarchy can uh, be achieved with contrast, hierarchy can be achieved with different kind of typefaces. So, in the semiotics and uh, visual perception uh, lecture module also we discuss this. So, based on the hierarchy uh, 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 users perception uh, users uh, what users see depends. So, here in this uh, example uh, what um, uh, in uh, Steve Krug's uh, do not make me uh, think uh, it is also taken from that book. So, it is um, for purchasing a ticket what user C is just they look at the logo and try to find out what information they are uh, looking uh, they, they want to see. So, what uh, for purchasing a ticket they uh, might want to see uh, their um, where they can put their uh, initial destiny, um, uh, initial uh, starting point and destination locations, and uh, what is the price, and all these major points they want to see. Other uh, informations they might overlook, and here also it depends on the scenario. So in different scenario, they uh, their their uh, expectations will be different. In, uh, for example, in the scenario, th this this uh, two. Um, photographs considers uh, two different scenarios one is i want to buy a ticket for that people will be um, the user will be preconceived with uh, have a preconceived mental model of perceiving some kind of uh, some particular informations for uh, example date of journey and price of the ticket what are the different available mode of um, transports are there so they want to see only that then uh, if the scenario 2 talks about how do i check my frequent flyer flyer miles then their uh, uh, then their perc uh, perception of the uh, mental model or the ex um, expectations will be different. They do not want to uh, look at uh, where will be the uh, starting and end point of the journey and what are the different uh, uh, mode of transport. They will expect uh, some uh, different things and what kind of um, already uh, what is their travel history and what kind of uh, free miles they already have. For that their information they will follow a different in, uh, um, uh, path on the information architecture, they will go to the different uh, tabs. So, for that they even uh, will uh, look at some informations which are different uh, and um, so th that uh, so all these things depends on the scenario and the people's uh, what uh, users want to see. So, those things we uh, uh, as we have already discussed we have to follow um, uh, those same principles. Now, uh, let us check uh, two websites, one is uh, the uh, uh, one is a e-commerce website where uh, this uh, there is a usability part is really high and there are a lot of informations and let us uh, discuss what we have already um, uh, studied in the module and how it applies. So, we will check one e-commerce website and one um, uh, ticket booking flight booking website we will check and uh, we will discuss the usability in terms of typography, we uh, usability in terms of the principles like Gutenberg's principle and other principles how do um, uh, how are they following. So, we will select uh, we will uh, check uh, uh, Flipkart's uh, e-commerce website and uh, uh, clear trips flight booking website in the uh, and we will discuss that. So, here uh, this is the Flipkart's website we can uh, see the Gut uh, Gutenberg's principle is clearly followed over here. So, on the uh, left um, top corner the uh, uh, Flipkart's um, uh, logo is there and all the informations are uh, there in the um, um, top uh, part. So, electronics appliances and all the major segments are uh, uh, written over there. And if we click on the major uh, seg uh, segment on a each and um, uh, on segment and if we uh, go to a particular product on the uh, top uh, left corner the products uh, picture is there which is the very important informations. And if we uh, scroll down on the right hand side uh, top right corner and the bottom right corner we uh, see the other uh, um, uh, important Im informations which is also uh, quite uh, important for the uh, users. Right now let us check another uh, e-commerce website which is uh, Snapdeal and how they have uh, designed their uh, website. Um, uh, 
uh, whether they are following the uh, principles and uh, uh, design principles or not. So here let us see the uh, snap deal same uh, similarly the logo appears on the uh, top corner and even uh, the search uh, uh, button is very important uh, thing for the e-commerce website because uh, people already have something on their mind so search button is again uh, very important so it's there on the top right uh, left corner and uh, on the uh, top right corner, there is you can see the sign in and cart option. So that's also uh, some uh, important option, but which is lesser than the uh, previous one. And even you might have noticed that the um, on the right uh, to, uh, uh, on the fourth quadrant there is a uh, purchase button, which is also a very important uh, information. So which comes on the fourth quadrant. Let us check then uh, then uh, um, flight booking website here you can see on the uh, uh, left corner there is a logo uh, appearing there and the, all the informations are there in the second and third quadrant and search flight button you can see uh, uh, it's appearing on the fourth quadrant which is one of the most important uh, thing and which uh, happens after that. So all the process if you look at the process starts from the first quadrant and ends at the fourth quadrant and all the informations are there on the second and uh, third quadrant. Here also if you uh, launch to the uh, main uh, search uh, page. So uh, you can see in the uh, uh, clear trips website it is all um, divided in the fourth quadrant. The uh, function starts from the first quadrant and ends at the fourth quadrant. Now after uh, discussing the flipkart and um, uh, clear trips website which was uh, really functional and uh, the uh, usability part was really high we can check some websites where there are uh, aesthetic style and uh, um, has given uh, 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 has been given more emphasis so for example i uh, came across one uh, project by uh, national geography so they uh, have depicted the uh, the journey of some beer. So this was um, a promotional video and awareness uh, to spread the awareness uh, uh, about the wildlife. So they have um, attached some uh, camera, attached a uh, few cameras on few uh, uh, beers on some particular uh, location, and they uh, um, recorded their uh, their point of uh, how they perceive and what what they do uh, as an uh, awareness uh, generation program. So uh, so the uh, content of the website was absolutely very different and uh, when people will check these websites their mindset will different uh, will be different they won't be in hurry for uh, if uh, somebody is booking a, fl a flight and booking uh, 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 and or purchasing something from e-commerce website their mindset will be different and some people who's uh, looking at national geographies uh, uh, what beers and uh, uh, searching about beers and other uh, animals, their mindset will be different. They mostly won't be in a hurry, and they want to enjoy the uh, website. The, their information, um, uh, the the interaction with the web, um, uh, website and the user is more important. So here, a lot of gamified and uh, UI transitions are uh, added in the website, and the uh, the complete website is a process of storytelling and it's a process of narrating. So here. Um, when we look at the website, we can see there are a lot of uh, visual elements are added, a lot of as, uh, emphasis has been given on the aesthetic. For example, while, uh, while the uh, page loads, uh, beer walks and then the page loads. So it takes a lot of time, it might be the file might be heavy, uh, so it might not open as uh, quickly as uh, the uh, two websites we, uh, which we discussed earlier. So uh, here uh, some uh, functionality has been uh, uh, and the aesthetic is optimized here based on the user's need. So uh, here we can s uh, and also some painted uh, images are also there and the videos of um, uh, which has been taken from the camera attached with the beer is also there. So it takes a lot of time and people will spend a lot of time with the uh, and uh, the, the uh, developers and users want people to stay lot of time uh, and spend uh, much more time with the website and uh, so here in this website their uh, in, uh, intention was different and in the uh, previous two websites we have uh, um, discussed that the users uh, the designers want the users to uh, do their job very quickly so uh, as quickly um, users can purchase the flight or uh, can uh, purchase uh, purchase uh, some goods from e-commerce site the better functionality is there, but in these cases, more the uh, time uh, uh, users spend with the 
website and interact with the gamified and uh, you, um, with uh, interesting UI transitions, the more uh, successful the web, um, uh, website is. So the intention of the website are absolutely different. So let us check the website. So here the website you can uh, see a lot of uh, gamified uh, user interface is there and the way it is uh, uh, the UI transitions are happening uh, is more interactive. Yellowstone has been compared to the Serengeti of Africa. Putting cameras on bears is really... So here we, uh, we can see a lot of uh, superimposition of uh, videos. Uh, so uh, the website, what it talks about, it talks about a viewer's uh, eye view of, uh, um, uh, of, uh, of uh, and which is uh, done by a National Geographic channel. So uh, uh, unlike the previous website which uh, we were discussing for e-commerce uh, websites and uh, uh, fly booking websites, the, uh, uh, the user group who will check these, uh, these kind of websites, uh, the, uh, uh, which is done by uh, the uh, National Geographic channel, their mindset will be different and they will have uh, much more time to uh, uh, invest on the website. So the in, uh, intention of the website to, uh, is to grab uh, user, uh, user's attention uh, on the website so that uh, they spend more time on it. It. Unlikely, uh, in, on the previous other websites, uh, for example, e-commerce website and the uh, uh, flight booking websites, uh, the process of the task has to be followed as quickly as possible. So here, for uh, um, attracting people's uh, attention, there are a lot of gamified user uh, interaction which is there. So a lot of visual, um, um, uh, so, so visuals has a lot of attraction values, and um, uh, and you can see a lo lot of uh, UI transitions, different kind of UI transitions uh, are happening. The the websites might uh, might be a little heavy than the previous one uh, and um, uh, for this uh, 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 transitions uh, difficult coding is required so after discussing uh, these after discussing and checking uh, um, and discussing the web applications let's uh, move on to the animation and discuss some of the animations some of the um, animations done by uh, famous animators so uh, and mostly as uh, we were discussing we were focusing on the 2d animation as 3d animation has a lot of other added um, uh, extra uh, domains and extra factors on uh, into this uh, for uh, for example generating uh, 3d models and the software heavy uh, implications are there in the 3d animation so we are, are concentrating throughout this uh, course uh, on the 2D animation. So some of the famous 2D animations are here. So one is father and daughter which got Academy Award in um, um, a short uh, a animated short films. And uh, then uh, there are Alexander Petrov's work are very interesting. So Alexander Petrov have done many uh, um, animated movies. So one is the old man on the sea which is based on um, Ernest Hemingway's uh, uh, novel. So this animation uh, if we see, uh, it was also the same process in the father, uh, father and daughter. So uh, each and every frame uh, is painted uh, uh, with uh, um, painted by the um, um, artist. So in father and daughter, they have uh, used the color of uh, the uh, the, the uh, quality, um, the visual quality of um, watercolor effect. So they uh, go, uh, they have gone with the monochromatic watercolor effect of the. Um, um, watercolor effect and which also goes with the story and story um, uh, and each and every uh, the characters face are not uh, clearly uh, delineated and which also uh, talks about the father and daughter eternal relationship. So if we uh, uh, depict a particular uh, fa uh, face, the give more detailing into the face and then uh, the, the character father and daughter becomes a particular man and a particular girl. But if, we, uh, if um, in this um, uh, animation. If we, if you check this animation, this is available in on um, on online. So uh, less intricate and less uh, um, uh, the characters were less uh, intricate. Uh, 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 the features were um, less. So uh, people uh, more uh, user can associate themselves with the uh, features because it's more abstract and um, facial features are less delineated and less detailed. And uh, that's why it becomes a story of an eternal um, father and daughter relationship. So uh, while selecting the style, while selecting the uh, particular, um, uh, 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 thinking about the color palette, thinking about the uh, what kind of uh, design principles and element will pick, 
uh, we have to think about the storyline and what kind of visual will go with this and whether we have to be um, the uh, each and every frames has to be very detailed or not that is a concern uh, that has to be decided uh, by the designers based on the storyline and based on the what kind of communication we want uh, on the other hand if you think that father and daughter uh, so, uh, father and daughters um, visual frame and the old man and the sea's visual frame old man and the sea is much more detailed the works of the um, the characters and the uh, facial uh, features of the characters are much more um, detailed and here on the other uh, as compared to the father and daughter where uh, the uh, features were more abstract and obscure so in father and daughter so the same process each and every frames were um, created and uh, um, in old man and the sea each and every frames were created and um, uh, sketch, uh, sketches for the character sketches for the uh, background is also created but the particular uh, style which uh, varies here and um, with the father and daughter based on the uh, storyline in uh, old man and the sea lot of uh, visual effect has to be uh, given because of the writing of Ernest Hemingway's um, writing which demands a lot of visual detailing so uh, here Alexander Petrov have selected a very detailed uh, painting so each and every frame is properly detailed and each and every features and background is uh, uh, properly uh, detailed another example is uh, of uh, translating a paradigm shift of a 2D painting to animation is an animated movie on Vincent van Gogh's life. So in this also uh, each and every frame is painted and uh, the animated movie is uh, uh, generated by, uh, by changing the frame uh, in, in a particular in, in a very frequent um, frequently changing the frame. So here while selecting the particular uh, art style here it is talking about Van Gogh and Van Gogh is uh, one of the famous painter of uh, impressionist uh, movement. So impressionist uh, style uh, is uh, selected over here impressionism is a part of a modern um, uh, contemporary modern uh, art movement where um, this um, uh, you can look at the impressionist uh, style of uh, Van Gogh's uh, Starry Night. Uh, where it, uh, uh, this um, uh, photorealistic it does not have a photorealistic quality but it um, uh, it is like uh, glittering and it is a lot of um, colors are juxtaposed and patches uh, impressions uh, uh, pa uh, color, uh, color patches were uh, create um, uh, uh, there to create an impression of the uh, picture or impression of the landscape or impression of the uh, uh, portrait uh, painting. So here impression uh, as Van Gogh was the impressionist painter so uh, while uh, discussing while uh, uh, making a movie animated movie on uh, Van Gogh impressionist uh, style of painting has been created and here you can see each and every frame is painted here in this uh, phot photograph you can see each and every image each and every uh, scenes are painted with impressionist uh, style of painting here you can see a picture uh, picture which is also a frame of the animated movies painted by an artist so uh, 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 so each and every frame is a uh, has a particular so uh, here we can see a paradigm shift of a impressionist painting into a, a digital animated movie also there is a uh, Ben Hibbons uh, animated uh, work the process of animated work over here is little different Ben Hibben uh, works with uh, uh, two dimensional digitally generated images uh, so un uh, uh, unlike the previous examples uh, the first keyframes are not hand painted so they are digitally generated but they can have different uh, uh, artistic look so one example was uh, harry potter's uh, deathly hallows the uh, um, story of three brothers and uh, this is also designed by uh, ben hibbons and some other examples uh, of ben hibbons um, animation is also uh, given over here so here this is uh, completely digitally generated even we uh, also discuss the uh, animated movie uh, paper man where it looks like an hand painted uh, image uh, which is uh, d um, uh, done by uh, Disney but it uh, also mimics the style of Disney's old hand painted uh, image but it is generated by a complete 3D uh, animation so first they have done some um, analysis on the what kind of 
uh, uh, visual style they want to have. Then they have uh, developed some 3D models, which uh, which is easy to animate, and uh, that process of 3D animations is much uh, fluent and um, uh, can can be uh, digitally tweaked later. So if uh, you paint one uh, frame. It's uh, changing the frame is very difficult in uh, terms of digital uh, uh, modeling uh, with uh, 3D animations. You can change the model, um, uh, change the set, uh, setup, and uh, change the character's movement uh, very easily. That's why they have followed a 3D uh, uh, animation technique, but had a, um, uh, had an impact of uh, two-dimensional animation style. So that also we have discussed earlier. So in uh, Bain Hibbons, uh, this particular example of uh, Harry Potter, uh, Potter's animation, so again the uh, backdrop scenarios and uh, the uh, set, uh, settings and the keyframes were uh, designed first and also uh, the characters were designed and then after that they, ha uh, uh, they have superimposed and then they have um, uh, 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 the designers have changed the uh, background and have a particular visual style which goes with the uh, which has been previously selected. So uh, this is it, and um, we have discussed about some uh, we, um, um, with the example of some web uh, web designs and some any um, uh, animation in the case studies. So hope you have enjoyed the course, and um, thank you.